Hydrangeas are very popular in our area. However, many gardeners are confused about proper pruning. Today I'm going to demonstrate pruning a big leaf hydrangea. These hydrangeas bloom on old wood. And by old wood, I mean branches that already were here last season, as opposed to new wood, which are just beginning to push out above the ground. The time to prune flowering shrub is always after the bloom is over. So the time to prune this hydrangea could have been last summer when the flowers are done. However, some gardeners prefer to keep the bloom over winter for our interest. Before making a cut, let's review the two major types. Heading cuts remove a portion of a branch, and it's the kind of cut that will encourage bushiness. Thinning cuts remove the entire branch, and it encourages open growth. Using this branch as an example, if we were making a heading cut, we would remove the tip or anywhere down just a portion of it, keeping the rest. Thinning cuts, we remove the entire branch from its point of origin. Before we prune, it's important to take a closer look at the plant. This is a very mature hydrangea. We can tell because of the number of old canes coming off of the ground level. The old canes always have peeling bark and look lighter in color. It is placed next to a house, so it receives light from mostly one side. Today we're going to do renovation pruning, which means removing the oldest canes at the ground level. The general rule is to remove up to one third of the total number of canes. If there are crossing branches that will create a problem during the growing season and remove those, always removing dead and damaged branches. And the final decision is how short to cut these branches. We will always cut them to new buds facing the right direction. And for this shrub, because it is viewed from one side, I think I'm going to shorten the branches closer to the path uh, to about two, three feet above ground and leave some of the branches in the back a little taller so it will have a tiered effect of flowers this summer. So we just finished renovation pruning on this big leaf hydrangea. We removed a couple of the oldest branches because they're at least productive. Open up the plant by removing dead damaged and crossing branches. Then we shortened all of the flowering branches to a height where the season's flower will be more at eye level. Oak leaf hydrangea is another common form in our gardens. Generally, they don't need much pruning at all except for just a little bit of a cleanup. So I'm going to take a look at this plant and take out everything that is dead, crossing, or very weak and won't amount to anything this season. If your hydrangea has flowers shaped like a panicle, they need a special way of pruning. The hydrangea paniculatas have flowers at the tip of new season's growth. So early spring is the perfect time to cut it back. But we need to make sure we develop a strong framework to support these branches with the flowers in order to avoid them from flopping onto the ground. Ideally, we will have vertical branches to support these flowering shoots. They should be about foot and a half to two feet high. And on each flowering shoot, we're going to cut to one pair of buds for this season.
Thank you.